So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a, a realistic wine glass. Okay. So to start, we are going to start from the front view. Here in the front view, what we need to do is we go to view, image plane, import image. So here we will import the reference image of the glass we are going to be making, which is this one right here. You open it. Let's increase it a little bit and move it up. Just want it to be sitting right here. Okay. I think it's fine like this. So what we need to do is we have to trace the profile of this glass with a curve tool. So to do that, we go to create curve tool and CV curve tool. So we'll start from this middle line here. You just click to drop the dot there, the point, sorry. Um, then you, you keep going, tracing the profile of this glass. Just like that. Here at the bottom, this bottom here also have a thickness so you can be creative and make it the way you want it. So the last point that we place here. So when, when you finish, you just press enter key to end it. And now you can right click and go to control vertex and we can adjust the points to better match our reference and uh, for some reason i think i have more points that i need so if if you think you're having too much points what you can do is you can delete the ones you don't need you just select and press delete and remove it to straighten your your line your curve and let's look at the top to see how that one is looking i think we also have i think i have more dots more points that i want just delete that one maybe space them out a little bit maybe i don't need this one just delete it Okay, fine. I think it's looking okay like this. So what we can do now is to remove, to delete. We don't need this reference. We can delete it. But before we can make the wine glass, we have to make sure that the, this line here, the end, the end of this curve is matching exactly with the end here. So to make sure we have it that way, we can, you select this one here, this, this point and shift select this one 
you go to your schedule and you align it so now it's aligned on a straight line but then we still need to snap it to this to this grid line so to do that you go to your move tool and you press x on your keyboard to activate the snap and you can move it and now you can see it's snapping to grid once that is done we cannot go back to the perspective view here in the perspective view this is our curve so we can now form the glass to form that we go to surfaces and you use revolve so revolve when it to, it to just revolve around 360 to make the glass so but as you can see is our glass is looking black which means our curve is in reverse so but that's easy to fix what you can do is you select the the curve you go to curve here and you can see uh, reverse direction so what that will do is it will reverse it and our glass will be looking good but we are not done yet we need to convert this to polygons to do that you just select it and you go to modify convert and let's go to the option box you click on that i will reset it so some options here definitely we don't want triangles we don't want to use triangles we need quartz and for here for the tessellation method i like to use general and in the controls here you click on it and we select this middle one likewise for the v you select this one and for these numbers i use anything between 40 to 45 let's try 43 for the u and also 43 for the v you apply and you close and see you can see our glass is formed there so this is our if you press the three key on your keyboard you can see that it is looking the two the two glasses are looking identical so we don't need this one anymore we can just delete it also delete that that curve so this is our wine glass if you think you need some thickness here if it is too thin i think maybe it's too thin maybe it's fine but if you think you need you think you maybe want to add some thickness there you can select go to edges and you select this edge you go to uh, modeling tool and uh, you bevel it see now we have have thickness press three again all right this is looking good so this is how you model a wine glass in maya thank you for watching and see you in the next video